Well, hello there, Platteville, and welcome to today's episode of Platteville, Platteville the Playground. I'm John Finnegan. I'm Joe Evancheck. And I'm Brad Gable. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the, the bittersweet conclusion of Platteville Playground. Not necessarily today's episode, but it's getting to be that time of the year. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go on a marathon of Platteville Playgrounding. Uh, we're going to hit up, I believe, four parks today to make sure that you have seen the beautiful Platteville scenery here and have been to every single park. So come along with us as we show you four different parks of Platteville, Wisconsin. Platteville Playground! We ride! All right, our first park today is Highland Park. Um, for mo those of you who don't know where Highland Park is, it is somewhat next to the Armory, uh, located on Stephen Street by the intersection of Lutheran and Water Street. Uh, and it's a very little known park. I've been here multiple times, uh, as well as, as these two have. So this is kind of our our stomping grounds, if you, you could say that. But uh, so we're just gonna we're gonna go have some fun at Highland Park. Come join us. That was the first park, Highland Park, and uh, now we're going to go off to the next park. We don't know which one, so come along and find out. Well, folks, here we are at the Nameless Park on the corner of Mineral and Oak, and... Uh, I think we ought to call it something, so I think we'll call it Jenner Towers, as Jenner Towers is actually directly behind us at this time. And now, okay, we're going to uh, just prance around a bit and uh, see what there is to see in this very small, now named park, Jenner Park. <laughs> well, at General Tower Park, there may not be a whole lot of playground equipment or diggy digs or swingy swings, but I'll tell you what there is. A great, nice, beautiful spot for you and your significant other to chat about old times, perhaps, and perhaps maybe even fly a kite. So, you know, Come down to Jenner Towers Park sometime. I'm sure you'll have great fun. Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at our third stop of the day. It's called uh, Sherman Park, and it was established in 1890. Not only is it the smallest park that we have ever been to here on Platteville Playground, but I believe... I don't know this for a fact, but it being established in 1890 may also make it the oldest park that we have been to. So uh, come along with us as we check this park out. All right, Platteville. We have successfully stuffed our good friend Brett Gobel, Gable, if you will, uh, into this ancient, probably with my history experience, World War I cannon found here at Sherman Park. And we are going to attempt to shoot him out of the cannon. Yeah, it, I don't know if you could hear that, but that was actually Brett's muffled voice from inside this cannon. So, um, we're going to attempt to do this. Hopefully, he, everything is, is okay. Don't try this in this park. We are trained professionals, and we know how to handle this situation. Don't do this unless you're under the supervised supervision of professionals. Like us. I'm ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, Plathil, we sadly are at our last park of this Plathil playground, and uh, it happens to be Valley View Park, which is situated on the corner of Gridley and Hickory Street, uh, adjacent to the Ralphie Davis Pioneer Stadium, where the Plathil Hillmen play their football games. And uh, this is also a very little-known park. Uh, not many people know about it, but it is actually a very nice park found in Platteville. So um, follow us as we go venture around in our last park of the day. Okay, here at the park, there's actually a full-size regulation wiffle ball park. And we're going to see, you know, how it's, how it's used. Uh, John here is going to try to hit a home run as I pitch, and Brett is going to try to catch in the outfield. And uh, we're going to see how it goes. Hopefully, you know, he does pretty well. Well, since John broke our bat, uh, can't really play any wiffle ball anymore, sadly. So his punishment, we decided, is to be sent to the Thunderdome. The Thunderdome. I don't think very important to tell you. That is a topic. Well, that was a good, fun time at uh, Valley View Park, and uh, you know that that concludes this episode of uh, Platteville Playground. It's it's winding down there, and these episodes are getting more and more sad to do because we know there's not many left. But um, this has been Joe Evancheck and John Finnegan. And Brett Gable. Back to you in the studio.